Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Pad Swagger VOD review. Today, we have a returning guest, Olive, if you want to introduce yourself again, because I finally hit the record button this time. Uh, I'm Olive, and I used to be Gold 4, but then after Paz reviewed me, I'm now Plat 4 for Kiriko. It, almost like it was the first time you said it. But anyways, Gold 3, Gold <laughs> 4 to Plat, that's crazy. I mean, that's a lot. That's pretty fast, too, because I, I think we only talked like maybe a week or two ago. So, I mean, congrats yeah, to you. It's a week and a half. And, yeah, week and a half. That's actually insanely fast, and maybe we'll get an even faster climb to Diamond after today. But, um... <laughs> You played Kiriko in the last VOD review. We're playing Kiriko now. You said before that you feel like your ultimate usage got better. Your Suzu maybe needs some work. So, I mean, mm -hmm. definitely, I mean, I think Suzu is a very difficult ability to get, get very efficient with. But hopefully that's something we can talk about a little bit more today. Now that players are going to be forcing you to use that Suzu better, it'll be uh, much easier to kind of hardwire that, or what am I saying, fine tune that ability better. Um, but yeah, I made the great Pogger streamer mistake of forgetting to record the first five minutes. So hopefully we can kind of make it feel like it's the first time we were talking about half these concepts. Um, it but is. if not, understand that that's why I forgot to hit the record button. I love, I love being a YouTuber. Anyways, um, let's get right into this. Um, Olive has been doing, from what I've seen already, Olive gone, has gotten a lot better. So uh, hopefully we can talk about a few more things and uh, get this right away. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. The whole the show, the whole shebang. You already know how it'd be. Uh, let's get into this though. Um, On this one, I should mention I'm not playing with anyone this time. This okay. is solo queue. I I forgot to ask that. But okay, thank you for letting me know. Um, I, I yep. thought your hog for some reason was your deal. Okay, but your solo queue. Good to know. <clears throat> so coming up, we'll continue to talk about something here. Which I'm not entirely sure about yet, but it's the Suzu onto the Antinate. And something we were talking about was the whole idea of should you Suzu the Antinate all the time? And as an Ana player, I think no, because Ana players are going to try to anti early in the fight to try to force out that Suzu because it's more value. I mean, Antinate for Suzu, you're getting a little bit more value than you might, you guys might even realize. Um, it's a weird matchup, that being said. The, the thing here that I think that you have to think about is, is the Antinade something that you can actually follow up upon? And that's a very difficult question to ask. I mean, it, can they take damage? Do you want to try to heal through that damage so they don't just walk through? It's a weird question to ask, but it's like, for in this example, I don't know if we actually talked about this yet, but in this example, like, your on is in a relatively safe position where she doesn't really need to worry about anyone, like, jumping on her from up here. If that was the case and you heard like a Genji or Tracer, I think Suzuing here is fine. But in this situation, you don't hear anyone coming up. It's super early. I don't think the Suzu was needed and we might need it later. So it's something that you can kind of hold on to in mid-max. And especially it feels terrible for an Ana to see that like I just anteed and they still have Suzu. That's bad. That's not, not good news. So if you can end up thinking through that and maybe not getting forced to use Suzu... You're you're pretty much telling their Ana, yeah, you should be playing Kiriko, or you should be playing Lucio, or you should be playing Mercy and not playing Ana. Something like that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Let's keep going with this and actually get into the stuff that we didn't already forget to record. <clears throat> um oh man, that's tough. Oh. I mean, like, that's one of those moments, like, maybe if you had Suzu, you can make up for her mistake, but we didn't. So, um, something to look at here. Not against healing here, but yeah, again, if we had Suzu, we can maybe get away with that, or at least get out of bad situations. Right here, it just kind of seems like, yep, my team's dying. I should die now, too, unless you think you can get out, which you probably can. Your your Ana definitely can. I don't. But, like, number one, your your first reaction is like, okay, fight's over. Is someone going to be able to get me out? If not, let's die on cards so I don't die. Um, because th the problem was that the fight was over pretty much, like, when the cart was here. We died when the cart was here. You're probably not getting another fight. So that's more so of a general game knowledge thing, not something I'm going to write down at the end, but it's something to keep in mind. Don't I have stagger. learned to do that the past few days. Yes. I've learned to just die. In in, in the nicest way possible, just die. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and I, with no disrespect. Um, 
Yep, the healing's fine. We're vibing. Big Suzu. But... Guts. I got... Oh. Walked forward instead of backwards. Um, honestly, a, a lot of this could have just been alleviated had we not died super late. Because then we probably would have taken a better fight as a team. And we wouldn't be in this scenario. So this was actually a much bigger mistake than what you may have realized at the time of this uh, recording of the uh, game that you played. Something to think about, you know? And hopefully that makes sense. But now we're back with our Reinhardt. Uh, okay. Virgo got the pick. Not bad. But yeah, he's just going to die there. That's not really on you. I mean, there's not really a whole lot you could do. Ryan is in there. Bye-bye, Ryan. He dies. Um, if, yeah. So yeah, this is one of those moments. Fight's lost. I'm trying to get out. Interested to see how you do here. Because your soldier's just kind of like, I'm going to win this. Hopefully he doesn't die. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know what I was doing right then. Yeah, and then right here. Uh, movement probably could have been better. But still. Fight's lost. Get out of there. Whole team. And this... This is actually a huge mistake that is going to continue to lose you games, especially on Escort, because now they have two points and your team has not taken a single good fight. Not a single one has been a good fight. This is not whether or not your team is skilled or not. It's, wow, we just have not taken clean fights. Um, it's super important. I don't know why I'm doing this with my hand. I know you can't see it right now, but like it's like the dude at the baseball game that's like talking to the one girl and the girl has... It's a meme. Maybe I'll put it up here if I remember. I don't know. Uh, I digress. It. It's a good pick. We so hold now we have really, really long. And I mean, I'm sure you would because to be honest, your team, it's felt like you guys were a better team. You were a, a little bit more mechanically skilled. It's just that you didn't get to take a good fight. Um, I'm not in love with the poke just because you already have ult and you're kind of giving their supports ultimate but that's nitpicky um let's see how you use the Suzu. okay that's that's not a terrible carry ult because you're literally right on the corner you can drop on them that's much better than where it was before so obviously you've gotten better at that um i don't know why we invested nano and whole hog but um okay yep we can kind of see where we went wrong with that yep yeah I feel like that's one of those things where I don't have to really. Hey, not the not the worst healing. But I'm with it. I don't know why. I'm... Oh! Ha! <laughs> yeah. Sojourn. Ah, I love that. Woo, I love this game. Uh, that was awesome. That was awesome. That's a spot? They added that with Overwatch 2. I remember that. It's a cool spot. Yeah, I, I, that's, that's, what, that's exactly nasty. what I said when I teleported to him. I mean, I knew exactly. it was a spot. I just, I've never gotten this map yet. So it's like, it's a nifty spot. I need to use that more. Wow. Okay, you didn't need that, Suzu, but that's like one of the hardest situations you're going to get tossed at. At least at the C-Low. And you still, get, you still win the fight, so. Yeah, I knew it. It was just... It was safe. Yeah. But, yeah. I'm cool with this poke. I'm cool with that. The standing still part. Honestly, you're not getting pressured out. Still okay with it. Your hog is aggressive. I didn't see the Hanzo. Yeah, I, I can tell. That's a good that's a good Suzu. Just because your your hog is nanoed and you want to try to not let the Ryan just walk through your team. Kinda like meeting pawns in the center of chessboard. E5, E4. Mm -hmm. I don't know, that's not it. Is it E5, E6, E5, E4? I think it's E5, E6. I don't remember. No, it'd be E5, E4. Oh, clear here. 
um it definitely be 5v4 just kind of like making it still so that you're not just getting completely crushed uh the problem is, is that then the ana does follow up with the nade so maybe it wasn't the best suzu but i'm not against it I'm cool with the Suzu. Dude. Just gotta be hitting those headshots. Mm, my aim there was... Was not doing you favors. Yeah. It is normally much better. Good Suzu. At least I think so. Oh yeah, and you hit those. That's insane to me. This is a bit aggressive. I don't... Yeah, that TP. Uh, I see a Kiriko ult in your future. Yep. Maybe on the corner. Man, I was about to be like balls of steel right there, not to use Suzu when you didn't need to. I don't think you needed <laughs> to use Suzu. It's just those moments where it's like, eh, I, I, I'm okay with that Suzu. It's just like, in retrospect, we didn't need it. Yeah. Uh, it, it's like weird mechanical things that you just need to practice out. Wow, that sleep dart. And then we didn't Suzu there when we had it. Unlucky. Um, wasn't the worst curio though. Like it was a better curio. It was ap applicable. Bad Suzu. I want it. Stuff like mm. that. It's just like we have to look at Suzu and think through like, hey, when do we need it? When do we not? Because Suzu is the big thing with Kiriko. It's like the thing that really sets you apart, at least in this meta right now. And probably what will continue to happen. A little bit of a panic TP into a bad position. You definitely could have just taken a deep breath and seen who was behind you. It was more so like, oh, what's around me? What's around me? Okay, TP here. Because if we look back, we did have TPs in spawn. It was 100% doable. Um, I don't know how I'm really supposed to say, like, well, just TP to someone better. I mean, we understand that TPing into the Reinhardt with Hog is, like, a bad idea. I feel like everyone can understand that. Um, yeah. Nice. That's what you need to be doing there to try to pull it together. Bad Suzu. He has vein. That's critical, you know? yeah, but yeah. yeah. St you got to think through that stuff. And, and like, I'm going to say that every single time. Yeah. Because <laughs> I just need to drill it into your head. Even a moment like now, like he's full health now. He was crit like two seconds ago. Now he's in a little bit of a bad position. Because he doesn't have vape. This is one of the moments like, okay, now I might want to Suzu. And now he's going to die. Because we Suzu in a bad time, you know? Yep. Headshots be doing work right now. Oh! Oh! That sounds more like now. Sheesh. Yeah, didn't waste Suzu. Nice. Looks like they're going to cap this, though. Bye. Well, we have Kyriel. We could hold close if we wanted to. We don't have to play up here, but I I'm okay with it because they have a better brawl. So, honestly, decent macro play. Yep, yep. That, see, that's exactly why we want to not play close. It, it, that, that's, that's good. That's solid. That's good Overwatch right there for a plat player. Stepping away from the Ryan dash. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, talking yep, about? Yep. And that's good. No, well, it's more so. Here's the thing, right? So, like, we have Kyrie ult, right? Mm -hmm. But do we really want to Kyrie ult very close? Like, they have Slam, and they also have Reaper ult. Now, you probably weren't even thinking about this. But you know what? I, I still have to say, this is this is, this is is good. This is how you want to play it. Like, they have Reinhardt and Reaper. They have to get close to get any value out of their ultimates. We have a Roadhog with a Hanzo and Junkrat that want to elongate the fight and try to spam them as much as possible so that we can maybe kill them or get them very low before they get close and get to their win condition. It played out perfectly. The Ryan pinned all the way in. The, the Hanzo gets the Storm Arrow and kill him. We now go into the fight 5v4. We win. But we didn't have to use Kiriko ult. So, like, that's just good Overwatch, folks. I don't know what to tell you. Like, that's just good stuff right there. That is good stuff. Just something I'd say. Because before I said, oh, I mean, you could carry out here if you really wanted to. Is it the best option? There's a better option, which is just waiting to carry out on point. 
Now, if the comps were switched and you were the comp that had the Reaper and the Reinhardt, I would say most definitely you are going to want to be curi ulting if you're playing against this. Uh, but that wasn't the case. Does that make sense? Yeah. I kind of went into a whole dissertation about tempo and advanced positioning, which I want to get out for this Thursday, but I'm being real with you guys. Um, I don't think that's happening. I don't think that's happening. Uh, we'll see, though. We'll see, though. Anyways, um, do you have any questions about... Questions? No. Yeah. I mean, honestly, this looks solid. This looks solid. It just seems like you're missing a lot of Suzu's. Two of those and points, we didn't die when we should have. We didn't take good, clean fights. And then mm -hmm. we paid for it. And to be honest, it might sound boring, but that's just kind of how support is right now. It's Suzu, and did we take clean fights? I hate it. I hate it right now. But hey, that's if that's how the cookie crumbles, that's how the cookie crumbles. Are you good to keep going, or do you have any comments? Yeah, uh, looking at this, I can... I think I can safely say I'm a bit better than this. Oh, now. yeah. I mean, um, a lot of this seems like you practice more, yeah. you'll be fine. But, I mean, it's good but, to get yeah, into the uh, the mindset of thinking, like, okay, this is this is mm -hmm. how I could have done better. Not, oh, I could have done better. How can I do better? Uh, and hopefully this kind of stuff can help. Um, yeah, but, okay, let's see how we go away here. You're right. um, now it's high against Arisa. It's going to be a lot harder to push through this. Uh, or even defend against this if it would go into OT, but it won't. Um, I digress. Yep, 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 yep. Reviving. This is this is your average Kiriko gameplay in season two of Overwatch two. Uh, realistically, your Ana should just be really aggressive here. She should be hitting antis every fight. She's just not. Um, so if you feel stuck, it's not necessarily in this comp that you need to be doing more. It's more so like, hey, Ana, be hitting anti nades, but the Suzus could be better. That's just a yeah. fact. If they don't have Kiri, your Ana should just carry the game. I fight this Ana, their Ana, a lot. I remember now. You know, but I gotta say, like, this is, I don't know if you mean to do this, but it's smart. So if we look at this, the fact that you see I... that your Ana is not being aggressive with her anti is she's being very slow and she's just trying to heal the team. It kind of gives you that idea of like, okay, that means I can be more aggressive here. I'm going to try to take out their Ana so that she can't just anti for free. Like that is a high level decision. I don't know if you are making that decision consciously and you're understanding why it's a good decision, but that still is a good decision. Yeah, I tend to notice when my other support's doing a, enough healing to keep the team alive, and I can go try and. Yeah, because do if we're gonna be bit. honest, like in this composition, the Kiriko should be doing a lot of the single target healing. They sh you should be on the healing end. Your Ana should be on the aggressive end. Mm -hmm. If you see that the Ana isn't doing the most optimal play, it's more optimal for you to be like, okay, I can be more aggressive than okay, let's just both heal this team that doesn't really need a ton of healing, you know? Yeah. And I think yeah. this spot that I'm in. I think you did another Kiriko or something review that they were in the same map in the same spot and you told them to kind of stay up there and keep pressuring. I mean, it's very situational, I, but I right here, so. the situation panned out for you. Like it, it most definitely did. Um, whether you know why it did or not, at least we can explain that now because you're honest doing a lot of the healing and the, the damage that you're doing, it, it sets your team up a lot. Cause now that the Ana can't just heal your, the soldier for free, the soldier dies. Mm -hmm. And that's because of you. People will flame supports and say it's not. Uh, the support set this up. I digress. That's right. Um, that's a little bit aggressive. You probably could have played that mechanic a little better so you wouldn't have to force Suzu there. But, um, you know. I feel like this is stuff you kind of know. It's just nice to point out every now and then. All right, you're, for you're forcing out her sleep dart a lot, too. So you're getting a lot of value in this position. The headshots are doing God's work. Because now you're getting alt so fast, too. Uh, I guess you're, wa you're wasting your time a little bit much up here. You want to make sure your team isn't dying. Um, yep, you force out nade. This is just good. Could be a lot better, but can't get a B against that. That was a good Suzu, but that drop was dangerous. Um, 
Oh. So it was a good Suzu. The drop was bad, but like this is all very nitpicky stuff. A lot of it just seems like, hey, Miana needs to be a little bit more aggressive here. I don't want to blame Miana, but here's the thing. Now you do have Kiri ult. They did just use Bob. It's a big ult. Not bad. Better than where it was before. You were saying something, though, before I cut you off. I, I have no clue what I was saying. Yeah. My bad. So, yep. <laughs> just continue. If, you, if it does come out <laughs> out of nowhere, just let me know. Um, <laughs> yep, yep. But, uh, yeah, let's keep going with this. Um, yep. Okay, cool. That's just value. Value moment. Oh, shoot. Okay. Yep. Hmm. Man, what is the right play here? What do I say? What do I say to this? Huh, okay. This is, again, this is very nitpicky, but hopefully by explaining why this is nitpicky, it will help you understand the situations in which this will actually help you. Now that I can follow that up. While this is a good position, and you are forcing out the sauna a lot, you kind of have to understand, like, when you have forced her out to the maximum potential. Let me, let me explain. Because that makes no sense when I just say that. When, when you, like, uh, uh, before the Ana was out here, let's look at it from a third-person perspective. On the other side. Let's look at the other side of this matchup here. When, when the Ana is here, she has a much easier time anteing the back line. Um, she has a much easier time healing people that are maybe below here. Here, but the thing is, by forcing her to not be there, you open up opportunities that maybe you haven't seen yet. And let me—it's easier to see it from her point of view. So by forcing her to stay right here, we map this. Let's go up. Up. Oh, that's what's up. What? What is up? Oh, S is up. That's weird. Um. So if we look here. If the Ana, because I'm putting this in the, not where the Ana is now, where the Ana was in fights prior. Because this was a mistake. Yep. It's a high level mistake. When you force the Ana to play like in this corner where she's like right here, because you forced her out, she couldn't see the Ash that was staying like here. She could still see the action here, but she couldn't see what was going on after that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like. This is super good for you. This is very, very strong. But the the problem that you had, and I it didn't persist until now, is that like, okay, you, you've done this. You forced the on out. You're getting good aggressive value. This is very good. Problem is, is that you stick on this angle. She can't see that you're sticking on the angle. She's just going to assume that you are no matter what. Because if she peeks out one more time, she's dead. Because yeah. usually she was about this much health. So, problem is, you stick this angle while the Ash is standing here. But we're not seeing the chess board. I, don't, I, I, I know you don't understand chess. This is most for maybe someone that knows chess that might be watching this. We're not seeing where the moves are taking us. We, we've, we got... What, what's good is that we got moves that most people in your rank would not know. Like, okay, we forced the Ana out. That's big. This creates value for my team. That can be even more aggressive now because we can push them into this zone that they can't see. That helps my team a lot. But we're not taking it a step further. Like, okay, now this Ana is pinned. She cannot move. She cannot help any this this piece here. So now we need to take advantage of the fact that this piece is hanging. This this character is hanging. We can kill this character. We can now shift focus. We eventually did shift focus and kill this Ash. But if we would have done this two minutes ago, it would have helped greatly. Now let's apply this to the situation we are in now. Now we have killed this Ash. We have killed the hanging piece that we now cannot get punished for just immediately doing. Because if we would have just tried to kill this hanging piece before, the Ana would have slept us, shot us, forced us out. Does that make sense? Am I making sense yeah. up to this point so far? Yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm not going too hard into the chest analogy. But okay. Now it's this point where we have forced this Ana out. She is not going to peek us again. If she is good enough at the game, she is still just going to maintain this position. She is not going to let you take this for free. She's not going to let you kill her for free. Now that we know that, and we see that now this piece is hanging, this Orisa is hanging here, that's anteed, 
the whole team was looking at. If if this is not a piece that we are going to see reasonably is going to become open to us, we now need to shift focus into the piece that we just want to kill right now and end the fight where it is. The problem is we didn't end the fight here with this piece, and now this piece is going to actually do something. Very nitpicky, but the whole idea is now let's bring it back to your point of view. Can I press N and like right click? There we go. If we take it from your point of view, like, okay, realistically, this Ana might peek out this way, but if we roll the tape, she just barely does it. And she does play smarter, except she goes for the Nano. Okay. Problem is, like, now it's, it, it, it's, this whole time she played in a spot where we couldn't really aggress onto it, and now we went a little bit too hard, and now we're like, oh, shit, this threat was greater the whole time. I should have just tried to headshot this and maybe kill it or at least support my team in some way. Mm-hmm. So this overcommit means that you you lost you you gave up a lot of that position that you had, and now you sort of blundered in a way. I wouldn't say you blundered. It was more so just a bad move that allowed this team that had a losing position to switch the tide and make it so it wasn't as losing of a position and maybe even a winning position if they get the pick. In which they will because now the Aris is nanoed and is probably going to maybe kill some more people on your team. Maybe not. I see. But that super high level, I'm hoping... The more th the thing here is that there is a point in which you have done the aggression you need to. And now we need to see where the aggression needs to go. It's not just like, mm -hmm. oh, aggression, aggression, aggression. It's like, okay, we've done the, we've done the aggression, but why do we do it? What, where should it go? Hopefully that makes more sense. Yeah. Um... I don't, that's like something that isn't really just a concept to talk about, but it's it's something I saw in this point where you tunnel vision a lot and you could have carried harder had you not tunnel vision as hard. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I don't know if it's actually going to cost you the fight. It looks like it will because now their team's going to come back with Let ultimates. You do answer with the Kutuni Rush, which I am totally cool with. So we'll give you that Suzu. I don't know if it was necessarily needed. Probably, you probably yeah, didn't need I... it, but then he gets to do that and your hog also has um, Breather. That's something that you have to look at when you're playing with a hog. Does he have breather? When he has breather, you don't need a Suzu him. Unless he gets anti, then then you need a Suzu. How would I know when he has it? Did you see him use it? Uh, <laughs> That's the big thing. I gotta start looking at that then. Uh, it, well, I mean, th the thing is, it's like, it's not as hard as you think because he's right in front of you. Mm -hmm. Um, If you're flanking, you can always ask, like, Hog, do you have breather? Um... It's also like when you see them get to that like halfway HP, typically hog players are going to just breather. So like you can just kind of assume if they haven't breathe used breather a few seconds after crit, they probably don't have it. Other thing, it's done a it's on an eight second cooldown or seven seven to eight second cooldown. They're getting it pretty quick. So the thing is your Suzu's on like a 15 second cooldown. You definitely don't want to waste it as much as the hog is gonna want to use like his breather. When you have Nade on top of that, where like you can like he'll boost the, the heal nade or the, he'll boost the breather like now we can kind of see how like okay maybe suzu doesn't need to be like panic used on the hog as much especially when you used kitsune rush now that eight second cooldown is more like a five four to five second cooldown so like he's getting that fast yeah um hopefully that makes more sense but like mm -hmm. that's the next thing to take like especially since hog is so strong don't waste Suzu on Hog when he's crit, because he's going to be crit a lot. Naturally. But that's a tough fight to lose. I mean, if you play that perfectly, like, maybe you could carry it out, but... You know, playing perfect is what we're striving towards. If we were all perfect right away, it wouldn't be as fun. So now you have a Ryan, so now you're definitely going to be wanting just to support that Ryan to just walk in. So flanking isn't going to be as prevalent, um, but it still could be pretty decent. Um, it's just because the Ryan's going to be demanding more resources up front. But Virgo went yeah. hard. See, like, right here, it's like, you can take that peak, but you don't want to, you don't want to assume, okay, I'm just going to hard rush on this. It's like, just, just your presence being here, it forces her back. Okay, cool. And what's the next play? Right here. Yep. Until maybe she's going to get a little bit, she's like, oh, he's not looking at me anymore. And then you can just like 180, bam. I'm giving you the moves in the chessboard. Hopefully this makes more sense. It's one thing to know the opening. It's another thing to know how to play off of it. 
Um, hopefully that makes sense to someone watching this. Uh, that was a... Okay, the Suzu there, like, he wasn't really in any danger. The anti wasn't really going to affect the Tuar because he still has shield. That's one of those things. It's like, how, are they going to be able to take advantage of the anti nade? If not, we don't need to use it. That mm -hmm. is a perfect example. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. Uh, let's keep going here. Oh, we hear the footsteps? Yeah, yeah. They sneak you're, a little guy down there. Yeah, I mean... You're definitely not a plat player. Like, you're definitely going to continue to climb. Uh, uh, just, oh, God. I take it. No, I don't take it back. It happens. Um, Suzu wasn't needed. You were safe. Because now your Ryan's in there. And now you want to get Suzu for this. Oh, wait. You TP'd out. That was good. Yeah, the Suzu would have been really nice there, so you won't die. Oh, does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. I think so. I think yeah. you understand that. Uh, I need to give you more credits. I'm interested to see how you guys turn this. Okay, the two tap here. Three tap here. The Suzu. Okay. Uh, Homie uh, needs to hit the Vaxta. Uh, uh, oh, oh uh, lord. I'm just listening. Oh, we got it. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think I killed the Orisa? No, I definitely don't. Well, you stay long enough for your team to come back. That's for sure. Staring at the ground. Tried hitting the head. Wasn't the prettiest turn, but it happens. We can acknowledge that. I'll take it. Not the best, but at least it's happening. Oh. Bad Susie. Bad Susan. Just junk. What the hell? What happened? We're at 15 oh. minutes. 15 minutes. 1456 to be exact. Alrighty. Damn. Look at that. So... I be doing the coaching sometimes. That Reaper is still in there. Wow. Yeah. The call here is definitely not to get close to Reaper, so that's good. Yeah, this is aggressive, but, you know, if you want to hit those shots, you can. Okay. Yeah, four ultimates. This is not looking good for the boys. Okay, that's alt one. See, that's one of those moments where, like, you didn't Suzu the ante, and it actually worked out. I probably would have actually Suzu that. Oh, you are flanking. And I'm I'm not I'm not against it. <laughs> that was a good Suzu. Yes, Honestly, I I probably probably would have rather you played this in the front line and maybe Kitsune rushed around the corner. Honestly, mm -hmm. I think that might have been a better macro play, but you did get value on the flank. I can't hate on it too much. At least you didn't waste it once the fight was over and they used four ultimates for that. So I there was a better move, but you still played pretty well. We used, did we use Nano that fight? You did use Nano on the Reinhardt. I think oh, yeah. you probably could have took it a step further and tried to continue to rush it to win the fight and make it so mm. you win on less alts, but I'm not against you losing it. I think I didn't because I don't believe their whole team was there. Okay. Man, this is one of those things I think you just need to push... I think you need to just push the continue rush a little faster here. But now it's like, now it's too late. You already lost the junk. I'm okay with you holding on to it. Um, yeah, just take the elf. Die quick. Cool. Uh, we're taking another yeah, fight. Do okay, that's an okay rush. It's better than where it was before. Oh, God. Dude, it happens. To be quite honest with you, um, there we I, go. I just think the the focus on what needs to be done in, in a certain comp, in a certain moment, you're struggling with. Because it's like right mm -hmm. here, it's like you can kill this Ash. I think if you had better aim, it's okay to do that. And I'm not discouraging you to do that. What I'm discouraging is like literally taking all of your focus away from what's going on in the front line to just rush at this this Ash. Um, yeah. Because what you have to understand is like you're playing Reinhardt now. You're not playing Hog. The, the, the Reinhardt doesn't have a nice breather that just heals him for most of his HP. You can't just mm -hmm. 
assume that he's okay on the flank. You have to make sure that you're supporting this front line to war as much as possible uh, when you're playing a brawl versus brawl. Like, if this was Junker Queen, it's the same thing. If it was a Roadhog, if it was a ball, maybe, you don't have to worry too much about the front line. Um, like, this is a very much, like, Roadhog, Wrecking Ball type of duel that you can take. Right here with the Reinhardt, he's got, like, no help right now. It, you're, it's your job to help him in that front line. You do end up getting away with it, but it's very risky. Um, and it's, it's like, it's a macro problem. I mean, y you're new to Overwatch, I, I remember, I think. Yeah. So, like, this is yeah. stuff you learn over time, but, I mean, it's hard to teach that just out of nowhere. And I'm, I'm hoping the positioning guide will help with that. It's just going to take such a long time to make, you know? Yeah. But, yeah, what were you going to say? Did I cut you off? No, I, was, I was just about to ask you, when do you think that will be out? If not, this week, it's probably it. not going to be this week. It'll probably be next week. The only reason it's not coming out this week is because I've been, I've been actually doing holiday shopping. I've been actually doing Christmas shopping because I can afford it. I can nice, actually do nice. Christmas things now because I, I don't waste my money on stupid things. Um, the... So, yeah. I mean, that's a lot of it's just like I'm home from college and I'm just taking a break. So that's why it's been pushed back a little yeah. bit. And it's I don't want to rush. I could rush this. Uh, I could rush it. I could. I do not want that this video to be rushed. This is like my magnum opus. I want this to be pristine. And we've been I've been working on it like every day. I just don't want to push it when it's not ready. Maybe it will be ready by Thursday. I don't think it will be. I haven't even started like editing yet, so it definitely won't be. But I digress. Um, I, I think this guide can maybe help with this situation a little bit. It won't specifically help with it, but it will maybe help you understand how different comps are played. But yeah, you already won this fight. Wasn't my textbook idea of a perfect fight, but you won. Can't be hating. Oh man, that Moira trolling. Yep. But like this moment's like, okay, people are coming back. You can look for this alt charge. It's okay. In an actual 5v5 fight, you might want to play more through Ryan. <clears throat> You're hitting so many shots for this rank. You just need to be a little more consistent. Which is fine. I mean, Akiriko's a hard aimer. Yeah, jeez, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's more consistent now. That's that Vaxta coming in. Don't sleep on Vaxta, boys. Vaxta goes hard. Oh, wait, he's going to hit the honey in the back. Oh, you're going for it. The tunnel vision is a problem. Like, you're getting, you're feeling yourself a little bit too much. <laughs> and it's taking away from yeah. the macro understanding, which yeah, is going to be more me. important the higher level, the higher you go. But I, I can't lie. Some of this, these shots, I'd be like, man, I do not be hitting those. I need to be hitting those more. Um, that Kiriko headshot. Uh, it's very game. satisfying. Positioning. Don't expose yourself. You did not need to teach. This it wasn't a Suzu problem. It's a positioning problem. Um, don't expose yourself to long range hit skin type of thing. Ooh. Okay. Hold on you to Kitsune. That's, that's good. Okay, yep, yep, yep. You, we are winning this fight. Yep. Oh. You know, I would have been okay with the Kitsune a little earlier, but once we got the pick on Moira, this is when you probably lose the game. Yeah, you definitely lost the game, didn't you? Oh, mm -hmm. and now we're going away from team? And we're not helping with the Reaper? Oh, this is bad. This is losable now. Oh, no, wait, no! You trolled! <laughs> no! <laughs> I've never felt... Oh, I got too confident. No! Oh, no, 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 no. You're playing so well this whole game, and then you literally just threw. Like, respectfully. Respectfully, you just threw the game. The, the most respect I can give for this current thing you just did. Wow, you deadass just lost this for your team. Man, I, I really hope you didn't get flamed after this. No, nope. I don't think there's any communication that match. Dude. Oh. I don't think anyone was in voice chat. Oh, this hurts. I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm being real with you because I know I can be real with you because you're cool like that.
But this hurt. I this am. hurt me. This hurt me deep down. This hurt me in ways I've never been hurt before by a bot review. Can I get an F in the chat <laughs> for my feelings? God damn. Look at this. Oh, no. And then the Reaper's just going to run through your team. I'll be honest. I had no clue he was alive. Oh, the tunnel vision. Indeed. And then you blundered. Oh. I hate it when the Suzu, like, I get whited and then it just I die still. But, yeah. Oh. Man. That is brutal. <laughs> that is. Brutal, man. Oh, flashbang. My fault. I should have warned people for that. That's really upsetting. Wow. Wow. Okay. Live overlapping music right now. This is really trippy. Okay. Let's talk about things. So... Number one thing I'm going to talk about isn't even going to be that positioning topic we talked about. Like, I feel like for almost half of the... Well, it wasn't even positioning. It was more so tunnel vision. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm not I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about Suzu because it's going to be more important. It, it, this is this is the same thing we talked about before with Suzu. Specific with Anti-Nade, understanding like when they're going to actually aggress with it. So that's like the add-on. But it's the same thing. Like, can I heal people through this? Are they in danger? Do I need a Suzu this? Um... Mm -hmm. And with better Suzu's, the thing is, I couldn't really say too much about Suzu because we were so tunnel visioned and we were playing so aggressively that we ended up having to use Suzu on ourselves. So I feel like if we fix our number two thing, which is going to be that tunnel vision and understanding like when our aggression has done the job it needs to, and then where do we go from there? I feel like once we fix number two, so maybe we should actually switch these things around. It would probably make the most sense, actually. I didn't think through this, so we switch these two things in terms of priority around. I think once you fix the tunnel vision, the Suzu will become more of a problem again consistently, and then we can go from there. <laughs> Obviously, like, you've been climbing because you're playing much better than what your rank is. Other than that last fight, that was very upsetting. Just going to put that out there. We don't talk um, about that. We don't it's, talk about that. I'm, I'm talking about it. I'm talking about it because no, I don't no, want you no. to ever do that again. Anyways. Um, yeah, I think I think we're on the same page in terms of what's important here and what we can get out of this. The last thing I'm going to do is like whatever you're doing for that aim, continue to do that just so you're a little bit more consistent and you can go for those high value plays and it will just work faster for you. Um, this is not nearly as much of a problem as it may have been Vaxta? in the last. Uh, whatever you used. Vax is what I use. In terms of aim what training. What is that? Um, it's, oh, aim it's, training. It's, it's aim training custom code. It's whatever you're using oh. for your aim. It doesn't have to be Vaxta. I just use this as the buzzword. Like, hey, this is the code okay. I use. Gotcha, gotcha. Aim train however you're aim training to be more consistent. That's the most important Wait, thing. Let me, let me get that code, actually. <clears throat> because it's just you shooting at bots. You go on hard mode. You can up the speed. A lot of different things. I talk about it in a lot of my old videos in Overwatch 1. But I know a lot of people don't watch Overwatch 1 videos anymore, so that's a little awkward. But we go from there. Um, Do you have any questions specifically for anything we've seen so far? Um, honestly, no, nah, everything's been answered pretty good. Um, All right. Okay, if something does come up after we close the VOD, let me know. I do need to close yeah, out for yeah. everyone that's watching on YouTube. This has been 44 minutes and 17 seconds. If you've watched some random dude scream at a monitor and you're not subscribed, maybe you consider, maybe you should consider doing that because, you know, you probably like it if you did watch some random white dude just scream at a screen for, like, 40 minutes especially after that last fight so you know consider it if you already have subscribed maybe you know like leave a comment let me know that you like this kind of stuff um the positioning guide it's coming the advanced positioning guide it is coming i don't know when it's going to be here i'm hoping next week this week is just i don't want to i don't want to force it out this week i need to figure out what we're going to make a video on this week but just again keep in tune for that it will be done um as well as some other events hopefully by the time break is over for me but then again, I appreciate you guys all for watching this far. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. 
I hope to see you guys more in other videos. But until next time, I've got a peace out and paz out. I'll see you in the next one.